January 17th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Prepared, Part 6, and our scripture is Ephesians, Chapter 6. Take the helmet of salvation, Paul writes, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. In his book, uh, Thinking Man's Guide to Pro Football, Paul Zimmerman quotes a physicist who did some startling math. When a 240-pound football lineman, capable of running 100 yards in 11 seconds, collides with a 240-pound running back, capable of covering the same distance in 10 seconds, the resultant kinetic energy is enough to move 66,000 pounds, 33 tons, one inch. The scientist says further that the collision would likely deliver to the player's helmet a blow nearly a thousand times the force of gravity. Obviously, modern football helmets must withstand tremendous blows, or no player would survive long. The same is true for those of us engaged in spiritual warfare. Paul knew what he was doing when he commanded us to take the helmet of salvation. The word take means to accept and speaks of receiving from God's hand something which he's prepared for us. That's a great picture of salvation's helmet for all we can do in salvation is accept what God has given us, that helmet. The sword of the spirit is also taken in the sense that it's prepared for us and we are to receive it with intent to use it. In December 1986, three masked burglars broke into the Louvre Museum in Paris and stole the then 152-year-old diamond-encrusted dress sword of French King Charles X. A museum spokesperson said that the sword, made in 1824 by French artist Frederick Bapst for Charles's coronation, has such historical value that one cannot set any value on it. Now, if ever there was a truly priceless sword, it's the Word of God. There are two verses of this Word treasured in my heart as particularly vital for ministry and survival in a world gone mad with materialism and mayhem. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, For the Word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow. It exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. And then 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Work hard so you can present yourself to God and receive his approval. Be a good worker, one who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly explains the word of truth. As a pastor, I rely on the word of God more than anything else I've learned. That's especially true in counseling. When rightly handled, the Word will reveal things to people about themselves and their problems about which I could only wonder. There are some counseling techniques that seem to work very well, but upon closer inspection, you'll find those techniques are biblical principles. For you today, how vital is God's Word? Well, it's the only offensive part of the soldier's equipment. In Christian living, it's vital for conducting spiritual warfare. So, pick up your sword every day. Remember, a soldier outfitted in every perfect way, but without his sword, is only prepared to stand there and take a beating. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.